Hello everybody, welcome back to Multiplayer Stellaris, featuring myself, Arthanex, as well as my co-host, Lord Malvern. Hey there! Alright, I have just discovered a fallen empire, um, actually fairly close to my space, looking at it. It's, uh, it, yeah, almost disturbingly close to my space. They are xenophobic isolationists. In the meantime, I also discovered, now that I have access to this tiny little section up here beyond the, um beyond the reach of their space and outside their realm of influence. And that just so happens to be a primitive civilization there. Bronze Age uh, mushroom people who are collectivist, fanatic spiritualists and like tropical planets. Uh, tropical's not really that useful to me because it's only one step away from what I am, but I haven't settled any tropical planets yet. So it's probably worth um, uh, enlightening them, vassalizing them and integrating them, even though it's gonna take forever. They're pretty isolated. Nobody else is really in a position to do anything with them. So I probably will try and do that. Build a frontier outpost up here. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just building up my empire. I'm going to unpause. I just forgot to do that. Uh, just building up the rest of my empire. I have tons of minerals that I can't spend going. fast enough. So I am just building lots and lots of ships. Uh, which... Is a little bit counterproductive since I'm about to get battleships. Well, not about to get 86 months away from getting battleships. Uh, and when that happens, I'll just want to switch over to those. So I don't really want to fill up my entire fleet capacity with cruisers, but I really have nothing else to spend my minerals on. So uh, in the meantime, what's going on with you, Lord Malvern? Well, my current situation can be uh, dispelled into two words, border gore. I have three isolated planets that are just, uh, you know, complete. Uh, I took from from the the Zima Naxian Dominion, and I just did not get like any of the adjacent territory. It seems I just I just got the worlds and what what's around there the worlds. So yeah, I don't have. Um, they must have like a frontier outpost down here and like. Um, one of these systems down here that's like forming a teardrop over here. It's it's like there's there's just you know it's 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 kind of aggravating because I can't make uh make these guys into a sector and govern them with 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 uh with their own people, which will of course help improve uh smooth over things. It's already starting to smooth over things on uh, dr on my Draypole sector. When I set uh, I set the governor over to uh, a leader of their their race. There's a there there used to be ten ten pop there in in uh, Draypole that were that that were in this first resistance sector and uh, first resistance faction now they're only nine so it's it's decreasing marginally so the, yeah slowly yeah. uh i'm i think yeah i'm i'm coming close to being ready to declare war on the bothrians here uh i'll have social welfare programs uh, fairly shortly. So that should help me manage to hold on to them um, for the time when they're recently conquered uh, until they're not anymore mm -hmm. um, without them revolting. Yeah. So you know what I could buy? And that's a bunch of armies. You know what? Actually, I don't want those kind of armies. I want my strong, my client race that's strong armies. These guys, the Spirens. Uh, actually, do I have any of those on my home world? I used to have an alien on my home world, but it doesn't look like anymore. Warvidox on this planet. It gives me enough influence to build this frontier outpost. Uh, 
Brigand states have started expanding into this outer arm now. Let's see here. They they settled on Bithia, which was yeah, that was one of the arid world ones. All right, I do have some Spyrians on this planet, so let's build some assault Spyrian armies. Yeah, as you can see, they're plainly better. Actually, yeah. Yep, they're plainly better than my other options. So, probably won't need them. I don't know, did you use any armies? Uh, yes, I, I, you, to seed planets, you have to, you have to capture a planet with armies. If you can get them to just surrender, yeah. And you don't have to occupy them. Right, but it, that does make it faster if you if you can if you can uh, occupy the planet. All right, at level three, I think I'm going to switch you back to research as soon as you're done with that anomaly or that debris, I should say. Okay, so we have built our next uh, wormhole station, so now we can go into this new nebula and hopefully expand out into that. That'll be nice. So there are some... Construction complete. Yes, there is a world here, an ocean world over here, so that's, that's going to be nice. System survey complete. Yeah, that okay, reminds my, me. My fleet power is up to over 6k now. Awesome. <laughs> uh, let's see, how does that compare with... Uh, I'm not going to build any more cruisers. I want to save some fleet capacity for battle battleships. But how does that compare with my neighbors here? Bothrians. The Bothrians are now pathetic. Uh, the boss Potox. They're inferior. System survey the Ikazuri are equivalent, even though their technology is superior. The Rixi are equivalent. Their fleet power and naval capacity are inferior. Oh, what the hell? That's, that's all my neighbors. You want an alliance yet? Not yet. Well, it's a power of empires is going up, though. Uh, ooh, antimatter power. I like shields, but I don't see them. Let's grab advanced combat rolls. Let's go for a plus five percent habitability. Guys, could you maybe not blow up your own stuff for five minutes? It'd be great. Oh, election. And I just spent all my influence. <laughs> oh, you switched to a you switched to a democracy. No, uh, science, science directorates have an election as well, but if you do spend your in, influence, you you are guaranteed to to get a um, to get the 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 one that you choose. Otherwise, it it picks one from random. Oh, I see. Yeah. 
That's right. They're an oligarchy, right? So yes. they have an election like every 50 years or something. Right. Exactly. Or whenever the director dies, in which case... Alright, so I'm going to have to abstain, unfortunately. I mean, all these all these guys look pretty good, at least, so so that's nice. That's something. But, of course, it does mean that uh, I'm going to be losing a scientist somewhere, too, and I don't have the... Okay, so I got one that's... Uh... Expansionist, so Frontier Outpost build cost minus 15%, and Energy Credits plus 10%. And his agenda is to grow the economy, so I get 10% Energy Credits as well. So I'm getting a lot of Energy Credits now. <laughs> Do you need Energy Credits? Uh, I was losing Energy Credits before, so that's, it's, it's, not, it's not entirely unwelcome. Yeah, so we're about to make a big uh, colonization push here. Yeah, I actually haven't built a colony ship in a long time. Yeah. I don't really have... I mean, I guess I could colonize some of these tropical planets. There's actually quite a few tropical planets I could colonize. And there's a few tundra planets I could colonize System as well. Complete. Yeah, right now I'm focusing on... Um, there are a couple of ocean worlds that I didn't... I never actually colonized that were in my... Um, in one of my sectors here. So I'm going to colonize those first. And, uh, since I can't find any Most other ocean worlds dead. out here, and then I'm going to send robots out to colonize the ones that are less habitable for me. Actually, this tundra planet might be worth colonizing. It's got asteroid belt plus 10% minerals. Hmm. And its size... Situation log updated. Size 18. It's not currently within my borders. Uh, oh, I can't. Yeah, right, almost done with our colonies here. Just have to. Right. Set to turn native enlightenment allowed on. Now I can enlighten them. It's not going to do my income any favors, though. Man, I really wish I could ship food. That would be nice. I mean, sure, some, some plants, you know, the aliens don't eat, probably don't eat the same things. I would guess. I don't know, that seems like a expansion material, maybe. Oh, if you could ship food around? Yeah, if you could ship resources around or something like that. Well, I mean, you, I mean, you kind of already do that with minerals. Well, yeah, technically you do. I just maybe ship food around, yeah. Now I think about it, that, that would really be the only change, yeah. All right. All right, you guys. All right, we got uh, we're stuck in Tanatir. Right. Okay. So we are sending colony ship here. Yeah, let's 
let's go with uh, this one. And then... A colony ship here. Park it right there. Oh, Alright, I guess I still gotta wait a little while for be able to get a scientist again. Research complete. Uh, let's I see. Do I want to colonize this planet? Yeah. I think I do. you guys yeah I think I do I, think I have enough of the other guys at the moment so <laughs> Ooh, okay so I can Warbidox. it's like I can take either battleships right now or rail guns rail guns will be cheaper Hmm. Very, very tricky. I mean, I, I, I think I probably want rail guns because I don't want to fill battleships with weak weapons necessarily. System survey complete. Uh, all right. I think is my army. Is my army done building? Oh. The Andagon Commonwealth has declared war on the Uri Dominion. They pretty much wiped them out the last war, so I, they're going in to finish the job, I think. Yeah, the Uri Dominion only has one system now. Do my people not like the fact that I... No, they don't care. Yeah, I saw that. Alright, Bothrians. I think your time has just about come. see what that ocean world what lies in that ocean world fair science vessel I keep an eye on my power <coughs> hmm I should probably hand over some planets to sectors before I conquer these guys too You know what? I think I'm not going to build a colony there in the circumstances. Um, Alright, so we gotta build. Upgrade. Yeah, I can give you to a sector. So probably, how many planets do they have? They have three. Construction complete. Yeah, so I just need to give one. Slots. God damn it. Wish I had a little bit more influence before I do this. These these uh these Bruggans are being very coy with me. They're like they keep uh recalling their embassy and bringing it uh and putting it back in. It's like I don't know. It's not like you even have you're even at maximum either. <laughs> you just have embassies with the two with two people. Speaking of embassies, Bothrians. 
I'm going to declare you a rival. Uh, and I'm going to send my embassy. Where? Hmm. Hostile fleet engaged. The Zin Empire. They're also hegemonic imperialists. militarists. Situation log updated. Desert preference. Uh. Situation log updated. Zealots. Now these people are still at war with the interstellar mandate. It's like what? What the hell? Hostile fleet engaged. They're like they're just not doing anything. <laughs> Construction complete. Who's still at war? Uh, the uh. The Dima, the Dima Zanian Dominion, the, the ones that I conquered worlds from. They're still at war with that superior. You know, I think I'm going to rival the Zen Empire. Yeah, it's just, it's really weird. Oh yeah, I see that. You've rivaled the Bothrians. And, uh, yeah. So we finished upgrading. Oh yeah, we need to build cruisers. We need to design our cruisers. That would be a good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna rival the sins. They're pretty far away, and I could use the extra influence. System survey complete. Okay. Look at all these slavers. All these people want to legalize slavery. <laughs> Just no. Uh, they probably just know how um, how big of an exploit it is right now. Oh yeah, why is it such a big exploit? Uh, because uh, slaves don't rebel. Oh. Research complete. Yeah. Well, none of the other none of the rest of my citizens rebel, like, unless I unless I just conquered them. Yeah. Time we got mountain range removal. System survey complete. Okay. All right, Bothrians. Ooh, good. Spark of Genius. Very nice. That is very nice. Always a welcome sign. Yes. Definitely. Alright, so let's build... Oh, uh, we can only build two cruiser. Oh, one cruiser? Alright. System survey complete. Construction complete. Okay, can we please... This debris here, thank you.
So you've declared war on the Bothrians, I see. Yeah. Very nice. Ah. Well, that's good news. That nebula, uh, ocean world is, uh, not in anybody's space, and, uh, it's a size 18. Well, let's see here. Sounds promising. It is. It's, uh, it's only got, uh, volcanoes and, uh, kelp, which I can completely remove myself, so that's always nice. Oh, man. Those weird lights are appearing above suns now, too. For me. <laughs> yeah, right, only the chosen people get to settle new worlds. Uh, I suppose it would be worth uh, There's your fleet, huh? Okay, so you attacking. Oh, you're, busy. you're attacking my mining station. What are you? You are hyperdrive. Paired fleet, very nice. System survey complete. We could probably build, maybe. Oh, looks like five more uh, Corvettes to put in the first delivery fleet. Debris analyzed. All right, ten percent of the way to amoeba breeding program. Very good. Construction complete. You're very quiet over there. Oh yeah, I'm just chasing ships around. Yeah. What the hell? I would like you doing that, though. Oh, come on. I gave you guys... I gave you guys a, a leader. Okay, are you... I gave you guys a leader of your own species. And this is how you repay me with more rebellions. Well, I'm gonna have to say... Let's see, your purge is currently prohibited. Uh, you can't purge any, anybody yet. Can allow slavery, though. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's a p appropriate punishment here. Okay, you've you've driven me to this. Okay. <laughs> uh... You people have driven me to this, so I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy being enslaved. There we go. Yep. Yep, and now, of course, you're unhappy. You're migrating out. Because my, my, the Eldons don't like slavery, of course. But, uh... Yeah. Yep, guess what? 
Slaves don't get to have some strikes. Yeah. Alright, I wonder how many more um, star bases they have. I'm guessing... We'll see. I'm guessing if I destroy their last star base, they'll probably surrender. I think the Kingdom of Aramaeus is going to be wiped out. Incoming transmission. Uh, yeah. Kingdom of Aramaeus. Is gonna surrender after I blow up your research complete. Well, you people are very lucky I cannot purge you. After all you've done. Construction complete. Uh, okay. Assembly algorithms. I've never seen that before. Construction time minus 5%. Uh, do I care about synchronized defenses? Really? I think I'd rather have shields. Construction complete. Construction Ooh, complete. Strategy, this guy over here. All right, so debris analyzed. All right, and they surrendered. All right, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and it's. Uh, are you in a good stopping place? Uh, I am actually. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause then, and it'll give me a chance to take stock of what I just conquered in between episodes. Uh, all right, so thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully, you enjoyed seeing me crush the uh, Bothrians, and uh, if you did, please consider liking the video and, of course, check out what Lord Malvern was doing in the meantime, enslaving and purging and other mean and nefarious things that I, of course, would never do. Uh, <laughs> they, and... they, they, they drove me to it, okay? I, I, <laughs> I, 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 was, I was going to be a nice guy this time around, but, you know, I, uh -huh. I, I had to, I had to, I had to enslave them. That, that, uh -huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys next time. And until then, have a terrific day. Take care.